Hey guys, what's up y'all? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a feelings reading for all 12 signs. We're going to look at how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and the outcome of those feelings um, between you and the person that's on your mind. So this will be time stamped below. Alright, so um, as always, the energies can always be reversed. So take it how it resonates for you. Um... If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, more specific to you and your person, that's below as well. Alright, so we're going to also get an angel advice card. So let's keep going with Aries. Alright, how is Aries feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? And what is the outcome of those feelings, please? Feelings for Aries and their person. Alright, you got the Eight of Swords for your position. So you're nervous. Something about this is making you nervous. They have the Nine of Wands. So possibly, um, you know, some struggles have been going on. Or somebody's kind of guarded right now. Maybe some type of distance. Uh, for the Eight of Swords for your position, that is, uh, you know, a card of stress and worry. Um, maybe feeling stuck, not really sure how, how to move forward at the time, but something here has definitely got you nervous for this person. Like I said, they have the nine of wands. So this is the wounded warrior card for some, they could just be, like I said, feeling tired, clarify that nine of wands. Um, the seven of swords and the queen of swords. So, I mean, there may be like, I don't know what's happening around this, but it, it could be like some paranoia around the situation. Maybe some things did go on, but it feels like, um, it may be very hard or it may feel very difficult to, um, have clear communication right now, or, you know, feeling like able to approach the situation. Somebody definitely may have some guards up possibly with reason there. Uh, but the Knight of Swords is here for the outcome. So it does look like there's communication. Uh, but with these kind of energies, I would be, were, uh, just mindful of how that comes across. Um, it is a very driven energy and communication and things like that but sometimes yeah with this kind of energy with all this stress and worry it may come across like a little more i don't know it feels frantic all right so let me get advice for aries please advice for aries thank you um, you have heart to heart conversations, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Cause you also have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, but right now there's a lot of swords mentality, a lot of worry, a lot of fear, a lot of probably not knowing what's going on. All right. So going to Taurus. How is Taurus feeling? How is their person feeling? And what is the outcome of those feelings? Please, Taurus. Feels like somebody wants to make a move, but they're a little hesitant for whatever reason. All right, how is Taurus? Thank you. All right, the Knight of Wands, Temperance. All right, so you have the Six of Swords. This person has the Knight of Wands and then Temperance for the outcome. Could be an age difference, Sagittarius energy as well. It kind of looks like you're moving past the situation. Like there could have been some um, heartbreak, you know. So there's definitely some pain or some type of separation that's being felt or that has been recently. Um, but it does look like by you're kind of pulling away from the situation is how it's coming across uh, Maybe creating some type of distance for this person's uh, Position for their feelings. They have the knight of wands uh, that is kind of a Wow opposite energy of yours here with the nine of cups. That's wish fulfillment, but the knight of wands can be kind of a a a fast moving energy maybe somebody who's not really settling down at the moment 
but as far as feelings go you make this person feel pretty good what the you know they definitely see you as a wish um have a lot of fun when they're with you that type of thing show me this outcome for taurus wait okay the ace of cups could be dealing with a sagittarius and that would be you know like a new beginning um tell me it does feel like for some though yeah the sun this wraps back around um you do find a lot of happiness here the emperor aries energy for some there just may be actually some type of waiting period or someone that um that you are pulling away from and creating some type of distance and it was in what case there could in which case there could be something brand new there um you do have the sun and the emperor so there is a lot of happiness but it feels like you know you're you're kind of pulling away from something that or at least the time that was possibly you know kind of difficult there so that's a nice turnaround so advice for taurus please for taurus and the person they're dealing with advice for taurus Advice for Taurus, please. Thank you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Alright, Taurus. The bottom of the deck is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but don't forget to love yourself first. All right, Gemini. Feelings for Gemini and the person on their mind. Gemini, please. So remember the energies can always be flipped if you need to. All right, how's Gemini feeling? How's the person on their mind feeling? All right, the chariot, cancer, energy, that's go mode is what it's feeling like. Wait, the four of wands, wow. Okay, and give me one for the outcome. Cause I don't know if that was really lining up to match with the page of wands and the nine of cups. Uh, so with the chariot and the four of wands, the chariot in your position, like I said, cancer energy, but it feels like you're on go mode. Like there's something you're ready to just race straight for. Um, in this person's position, they have the four of wands, which is about stability, commitment. This is a twin flame card. It's a good luck card associated with 1111. So, I mean, it kind of feels like um, you're both kind of in the place of, of go, go like straightforward full steam ahead is how it's coming across um because for the outcome you have the nine of wands and oh sorry the the page of wands and the nine of cups so it looks like this is a lot of like elatedness a lot of happy feeling um a lot of uh i mean shit it's just a, a really happy time yeah, the, now the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant. So it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. But it looks like you're kind of in the place both of really, um, you know, wanting something stable. This could be home, stability, monogamy. But it looks like this is working out for you. All right. So definitely feelings there. <laughs> you have emotional fulfillment. Advice for Gemini, please. Advice for the gems. Thank you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right. Cancer. Cancer, cancer. Feelings for cancer and the person on their mind. How is cancer feeling? How is their person feeling? And what are the outcome of those feelings? Cards for cancer, please. Remember, the energies, again, can always be reversed. But we are going to look at this as feelings. Alright. I don't know why I cut the deck. Alright. Feelings for cancer and the person on their mind. 
Wait, you got the high priestess. This person has the magician. One more. I think you both. It's almost like, yeah, and now the ace of wands. Wow, hell yeah. It's almost like you both want each other. You're manifesting each other. Even if it's just um right now even if nobody was speaking about it um there's almost like a spiritual pull towards this but with the magician the high priestess and the ace of wands it almost looks like you know there's something kind of cooking on both levels um you could be keeping it to yourself but it, it's still at the early stages with the outcome you have the ace of wands so it's almost like you both have the same thought um you know the same feeling the same inner soul feeling it's kind of a really cool energy um but there is you know something that's kind of in shoot in the making there um as far as the high priestess on your side you may not come out and just express those feelings they can be something that you kind of keep to yourself right now um but with this person having the magician um wow the emperor and the two of cups they definitely want to make things happen with you and you know it's it's almost like the idea is presented um this person definitely has a lot of feelings for you and it looks like you know you do as well with the two of cups that's a matching energy a matching bond mutual love all right so advice for cancer please advice for cancer thank you healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents at the bottom of the deck you have it safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and like i said with that high priestess you may kind of keep your feelings you know to yourself at the moment because uh but this has the, the um potential to take off all right leo feelings for leo how is leo feeling how is the person on their mind feeling and what is the outcome of those feelings cards for leo will you please so remember energies can always be reversed cards for leo and the person on their mind too many all right let's get it cards for leo Thank you. Seven of Pentacles, the Tower. It feels like somebody's waiting for things to take off. Um, the the energy kind of coming off of it, King of Swords, um, is like things are kind of down here at the moment, um, growing possibly because you're the Seven of Pentacles. So you know, um, but it feels like it's waiting to kind of take off with this tower with the seven of pentacles here for how you're feeling it feels like i mean at the bottom at the very least you're taking it slow here it does look like something that you're contemplating but with the seven of pentacles yeah the two of swords you may not really know how to move forward with this situation or where things stand um maybe feeling like things aren't maybe you could have it may require an investment you know um well i mean obviously but there's kind of like a contemplative energy here you may have invested a lot of time and energy but there's kind of just like a lot of thinking about it but not really sure maybe you're not really sure where it's gonna go for this person's position they have the tower clarify that for feelings they may have felt like you have outgrown the situation or that you're kind of no longer present in it yeah, because this person's equally stressed. It's not that you're so much stressed. Um, you just may not see like how how things are going to go or kind of move forward. But this person, it does look like they want to kind of take things to the next level. But they, like I said, they may be worried that you're kind of um, possibly like pulling away from them a little bit. So for the outcome, you have the king of swords which is aquarius libra gemini energy um it does feel like this person 
the camp source does not always know how to express their feelings it does feel like they want to communicate um but really may not know how to open up and express those right now because they're feeling so stressed the queen of swords so you're definitely kind of mirroring each other's energies could be an air sign but it kind of feels like right now things you see how um you know their backs kind of turn there so i think this person may feel like or you're just very career focused um but honestly it, it may feel like you know uh, not really sure how to approach you or worried that you know you're, like i said you're kind of pulling away so let's get advice for leo please advice for leo okay too many past life relationship you have known each other before chemistry there's a strong romantic i mean strong magnetic connection you also have uh make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so should you so choose i mean if you feel guided take it because this this is the energy right here that's probably very hard to interpret especially what the other person is feeling and when you're asking about feelings and then you're getting kind of all this mindset thoughts, this is a lot of uncertainty. So probably, you know, both questioning maybe where things stand or how the other is thinking or what they're feeling. So this is a lot of air, a lot of logical thoughts there. All right, Virgo. Feelings for Virgo and the person on their mind, please. Happy birthday to you guys, by the way. All right, Virgo. How's Virgo feeling? How's their person feeling? And what is the outcome of those feelings? Virgo. So remember, energies can always be reversed, okay? All right, you got the Ten of Cups. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the wheel. Wow, nice cards. Leo energy at the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely digging you. You got the Ten of Cups. They got the Hierophant wheel for the outcome. You got luck. You got, you got movement. You got um, destiny on your side. Um, let's see. For your position, you have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, you know, this person is definitely where it's at for you, especially when it comes to your feelings, your emotions. It's kind of like a comfy, cozy energy, just all lovey-dovey. For this person's um, place, they have the Hierophant, which is, okay, um, Taurus energy. The Hierophant is like a, a spiritual calling um, or like, you know, kind of, oh shit, it's about monogamy. It's about something with structure. It's about, um, you know, marriage, that type of thing. Discipline. Clarify that Hierophant for how this person is feeling. The King of Wands and the Six of Swords. So, I mean, they definitely feel like they want, if you've had any rocky times here, um, it definitely feels like, you know, somebody is getting up some type of confidence here, ready to come towards you, very attracted and wanting to pull forward. And if you have, um, like had any, you know, difficult situations in the past, you know, that's, that's leaving those behind. Oh, shoot. All right. So for the outcome, you do have the wheel. The wheel is a card of destiny, fate, change, um, and also movement. So it, not to mention divine timing the queen of pentacles yeah so i feel like you're finding some balance and you definitely have luck and it feels like good fortune on your side i'm not quite sure that you're completely like your heart and emotions are here that's for sure but you do have the two of pentacles there beside you so um you may have a decision to make or just kind of still be a little up in the air and that's okay because um you know with the wheel there things are going to happen when they're supposed to happen but as far as feelings, I mean, we're not getting into the action. All right, advice for Virgo. All right, you got wedding. The situation involves marriage. And like I said, the Hierophant is here. Um, and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. 
And you also got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, Virgo. Moving on to Scorpio. How is Scorpio feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? And what is the outcome of those feelings? That magician wants to keep popping out. Scorpio. How is Scorpio feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? What's the outcome? Alright, cool. Let's go. Scorpio. The Three of Cups. The Nine of Swords. Oh, it's working out. Um, you have the Three of Cups on yours. On this side, for this person, they have the Nine of Swords. So, kind of worried about something i'm not sure what that is but feeling kind of anxious about something you have the three of cups so you know this does feel like you want to you know at least a friendship here but there is love that's felt um kind of a closeness a bond there could be dating or want to date this person um like i said for their situation they got the nine of swords so they're a little worried about something all up in their head about something um whatever that may be i'm not sure for the outcome you have the six of wands so that is a card of coming out on top everything working out fine show me this nine of swords for how scorpio's person is feeling and remember the energies can always be reversed here the star aquarius energy yeah they're still hoping this will work out you make this person incredibly happy you there's they see you as a wish so that's probably why they're stressing you um or stress in the situation but with the page of wands there that's a very like energetic feeling um very childlike feeling so it feels like when things are going good you know this person definitely wants to hold on to you and sees you as like a, a dream come true a wish come true all right let me get advice for scorpio please advice for scorpio Scorpio, what you got for Scorpio? Thank you. Healing family issues. That's like the card of the day. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Anything else for Scorpio? Thank you. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So, you know, maybe you are going to reconcile. Maybe you're going on some type of vacation, something like that. You have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right. All right. So, Sagittarius. All right, let's see how you and the person on your mind is feeling. Cards for Sagittarius, please. We're gonna do your feelings. How is Sagittarius feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? And what are the outcome of those feelings, please? Sagittarius and the person on their mind. What are the current feelings? All right, guys, let's get it. All right, card for Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? And what is the outcome? So remember, it can always be reversed, okay? King of Swords, Seven of Cups, with a Devil. All right, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Capricorn Energy. I think it's probably... Um, 
may be a little difficult to figure out what's going on right now, especially as far as how someone is feeling. With the King of Swords in your position, um, you may feel like you're, yeah, like this person doesn't really open up and express their emotions. Um, they could kind of turn them on and off pretty quick there. Very straightforward, very well educated, possibly. Tell me more about how Sagittarius is. Thank you. The King of Cups. Wow, you may have uh, for some choices, but I think at the very least, you do have emotions for this person. Um, they may have days where they're like sweet, loving, and caring, and then other days you can't even tell how they feel. They may be a little bit more closed off. There is some sense of emotions here for this person. It, it just flips feels like yeah the eight of cups you may feel like you know it, at the very least like it's hard to kind of figure out what they feel for some you may feel like they've kind of disconnected from the situation remember the energies can be reversed um, for this person's position they have a seven of cups so the seven of cups is you know it looks like trying to figure some things out they do have emotions there that's not the um the issue it's just they may kind of be at a crossroads as to what's going on or kind of uh with that seven of cups it, it's still kind of like it's not figuring out really what their emotions it's just kind of more of an, a, a confusion right now it's almost like at a state of you know not really knowing how things are going to proceed or maybe feeling like they're thinking about it but maybe there's a situation that they're just not sure how to solve right now because it feels like they're in kind of a a place of un not uncertainty but confusion for sure so for the outcome you have the devil that's capricorn energy I mean, I think it, I don't. I don't want to call it temptation is going to present itself there, but um, for some, the devil can be like also self sabotage, or um, you know, it just feels like don't make sure you're not ignoring anything because it could be you know that somebody is completely ignoring their feelings here. I do think with the cards that's trying to flip over, I'm just not going too much into it just because it's feelings. Um, it's gonna it's gonna wrap back around. But the devil is there for a reason. So this could be like a, like a, a cycle that like keeps repeating or something like that as well. Alright, let's get advice for Sagittarius, please. Advice for Sagittarius. Thank you soulmate yes this is your soulmate all right you gotta release your ex here the time has come to clear your energy so that could be kind of what's holding things back you know there could be somebody from your past uh romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and you also have wedding this situation involves marriage All right, so, um, the Caps, Capricorn, see what's going on for you guys. How is Capricorn feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? <laughs> my head's way ahead of my arms. All right, Capricorn feeling for Capricorn and the person that is on their mind give me one second I started I usually sit at my little table but um I don't know last couple days I've been getting tired of sitting there I enjoy sitting in this little spot that I've been sitting in but sometimes I have to move around all right so Capricorn how's Capricorn feeling all oh, how's their person feeling what is the outcome you got the five of cups for yours so what's going on i don't know but something five of pentacles is popping out there something's just not completely i don't think you're feeling completely on the up and up around this situation um that can be regret but it also feels like there's some doubt here on someone's side that like things are gonna work out 
Uh, I don't think it's as bad as for some. Um, especially with that five of cups. Because sometimes you just got to give it time. Um, and also make sure you're looking at the whole picture. Because it feels like, you know, this may have been... You may have been feeling this way for a while. And it's almost like... Um, just sitting down and like... It just It's almost like losing hope. It's like the, the energy coming off of it. For this person's position, they have the hangman. So they're definitely still there. But it feels like they're kind of in a stuck place. Like, uh, not really sure. They're still hanging around your energy. That's for sure. They're worried about something. Um, possibly you. Uh, it could be something else. But with the hangman there, that's Pisces energy. Um, yeah, this person definitely wants to work on things with you. The Ace of Cups. Uh, it looks like they're kind of worried. Maybe around work or something like that. But they do want... They do have a lot of feelings for you. They may keep... It's like they hold you very close to their heart. Very close to their chest. And that's probably why it felt like it's it's not as bad as it seems. Because for the outcome, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. That night is the slowest moving night of the deck. Um, slow and steady wins the race. So, I mean, it is moving. It's just incredibly slow. Um... At least at the moment. But there is slow moving energy there. It just may not be felt right at the moment. Alright. So let's get. It does look like they want to work on things with you. Sometimes when we have this kind of stress. And this kind of anxiety. It can kind of slow manifestation. I mean, for some, and you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, there's nothing wrong with taking it slow. But it does look like, it, well, it feels like for some, you wish it would kind of hurry up. Alright, so advice for Capricorn. Cool. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Anything else for Capricorn? Thanks. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask with love yourself first at the bottom. Your self, makes, your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So when you have released your ex deception and love yourself first, um, you know, and that's not for all, but for some, there's a strong, uh, you know, indication to just know what's serving you and remember what you want, especially like out of life and go towards that because it is you know your life and love is is there all right this might not be presented at the moment all right so moving on to aquarius I switch positions again all right how's aquarius feeling how is the person on their mind feeling and what is the outcome of those feelings please Aquarius. Yikes. Let's try that again. Alright, Aquarius. So remember the energies can always be reversed. Cards for Aquarius, please. And the person on their mind. Alright, let's get it. Aquarius. How's Aquarius feeling? Thank you. How's their person feeling? That Nine of Swords is popular today. What is the outcome? But you got the Nine of Pentacles. You, you, you may be feeling pretty good here. You could just be feeling single, very independent, um, very grounded, especially like in your King of Swords there. So for your side, you have the Nine of Pentacles. It feels like you're in a really good place. You may just feel single. It can be what that means, but it's it's almost like you're in you're you're in a good spot could be doing stuff something creative like even things around the house cooking hobbies maybe working but it feels like you're in a um you're in a good spot but over here for this person's position they do have the nine of swords so they're stressing um they're definitely worried about something maybe it's because of like some type of independence or freedom that you found like within yourself um 
because you're ending with the king of swords so you could just be dealing with an air sign yeah this person is uh you got the empress for how they're feeling so obviously i love that card but that's that's associated with venus that's a lot of love and attraction like seeing beauty here you kind of break the mold you could be like wifey or mother type to this person but they definitely see you as somebody who's very independent um you can take care of yourself if you need to clarify the king of swords for the outcome of these feelings because this can be communication but it's not always the most as far yeah the two of swords i don't think this person's coming forward at the moment expect at least remember we're just talking about feelings right now so maybe um either more career focused or kind of more straightforward the king of swords can kind of go on and off like a light switch and kind of as far as feelings it can be very hard to tell where he stands but this person's for whatever reason right now very stressed out and and not really it, it looks like coming forward emotionally maybe not knowing how to for whatever reason all right aquarius advice for aquarius please so definitely not a lot of opening up there but they you know with that empress card there and the fact that they're stressing so much looks like you're in a really good place advice for aquarius and that could be what they're stressing. All right. Quit. Thank you. Okay. Shit. I'm going to take the first two. All right. So you have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And then you also have let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. And that kind of would relate back to this card because this is a whole lot of overthinking, uncertainty. But a lot of times with this card either, um, especially with this kind of mentality, like somebody's probably not just asking, especially that energy. So kind of not knowing what to do. It depends on what they're so stressed about. Because if this is like about your independence, they may not know like how to approach you. But conversation would probably... <laughs> Like heart to heart um, or just kind of let let things unfold as they may depending on how you want like the card said but um, this just kind of holds manifestation that type of thinking because this is feeling like there's you know not really sure how to move forward so all right Pisces Pisces. Feelings for Pisces and the person on their mind. How is Pisces feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? And what is the outcome of those feelings? Please, Pisces and the person on their mind. How is Pisces feeling? How is their person feeling? What's the outcome of the feelings? All right, guys, let's get it. Feels like somebody keeps their feelings inwards. The Hermit for your position. Virgo energy, the Seven of Wands for this person's position. Outcome of these feelings, the Six of Cups. So there's at least a friendship here. It could be kids involved, but there are feelings. It feels like though you're almost both kind of shut down at the moment. You have the Hermit here, which is Virgo energy. They have the Seven of Wands. It feels like you're both like very spiritually connected, but both very, um, it feels like very calm, but very protected. Like it kind of maybe, I don't know. It's almost like you're kind of not opening up that's for sure not really expressive but it does feel like you're somehow connected here um with the hermit there you just may be feeling like you want to be alone you know uh oh you may be staying to yourself because the situation makes you nervous or you know feeling like you can approach it or something here about it you know you may feel like you're not able to or you may just kind of pull away from the situation not really pull away but kind of go inward because you're definitely something here is 
but see like see down here this is all just the illusion she's not really trapped so you know i mean it's a cool energy to go within and try to like resolve that meditate but for the seven of wands um for this person that's still kind of a defensive energy it kind of um it can be wanting to stand for it but probably not showing much emotions there both kind of seem a little guarded there as far as definitely expressing them because it oh yeah the king and the queen of cups and the fool it definitely feels like you both just want to go for it but right now i don't think either one is this is um yeah, there's definitely feelings here they're just very much hidden for the outcome you do have the six of cups so um it feels like it'll revolve it or revolve resolve itself um like things are gonna you know there's still like a friendship here um aquarius energy with the stars somebody is you know still holding on to this it just may feel like a little disconnected for the moment you may have somebody spying there but seeing this as a wish this is not something that it looks like you know it's being let go of all right, let me get advice for Pisces, please. Advice, thank you. Engagement. Wow, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it looks like something, possibly a wish, is coming towards you. But, you know, I always say this kind of energy right here, um, this is just going to slow manifestation. So try, you know, meditate, Epsom salt bath, sage, whatever you do. How if it's, if it's going for a jog or, you know, a walk that kind of clears your mind and, you know, do what you have to do. Walk in nature. All right. So all right guys so thank you for watching i hope this helped i hope it resonated please make sure that you click that like button if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the subscribe as well um if it resonated also if you would like to contact me for a personal reading that's towards your situation that information is below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time bye